What is up, guys? It is your boy, the Beta Boz, and I am bringing you a Domination on Array. Um, Array is probably one of my favorite maps. Um, this gameplay is very long, fair warning. Um, you know, it's it's really not even that great of gameplay. Um, I just want you guys to listen in on what I'm talking about, because every now and then I like to have, you know, a somewhat deep commentary. Um, well, not really, it's, it's not really deep, it's just more or less, um, my opinion on things, stuff like that, not just talking about the gameplay, talking about something stupid. Um, you'll watch me go in this gameplay, and I went in thinking, you know, I'll, I'll go for, for, a uh, high KDR and all that jazz, you know, but, um, as the game went on, you know, I kept dying, no, no, none of the guns were working for me, I tried out the Commando, uh, the L96, in the end I went with the, uh, M16 ACOG, and, uh, you know, in the end I just said, screw it, I'm gonna rave the caps, um, so that's what I did, um, I wanted to tell you guys a little something, um, when I, when I first played, uh, I only played Deathmatch, and, uh, my my first time playing Call of, the Call of Duty, I was just a total bitch camper. Um, I thought getting a uh, Harrier and a Chopper Gunner was just amazing. You know, I I literally was one of those kids that had the Scar heartbeat, the Scar with heartbeat sensor. Um, then I would whip out the uh, um, what's it called, the the A12 grip secondary. And I just camp in a corner, like, uh, I don't know if you guys know the one, uh, spot in, uh, going back to Modern Warfare 2, Karachi. Um, there's that little thing, uh, overlooking the B side and the A spawn. It's like a little hole in the wall, you know? I would always go there and just sit the whole game just freaking out. Um, my friend Flyer Swimming, he was actually t terrible at the game when he first started. And I taught him my camping ways, and God, we were those kids that you would just hate to play with, just awful. And then you know, as I as I played more, I got a lot better. Um, I don't I don't camp uh, nearly as much. Um, the only time I do camp is if I'm trying to hold down an objective or something or doing something else like that, but. There's really no need to. I realize that now. And Flyer Swimming, he doesn't camp either. He's he's a good, strong player like that. He He's very active and moving about. But guys, I was a total noob. And anyway, back to that, um, what I was telling you about the capturing. Um, I came in, when I, when I got good, I, I started playing team-based games like Domination with uh, my friends, like, uh, G.I. Joe and Flyer Swimming and uh, Storyteller um, and the Wild Nine Eye, I, all good friends. Um, and I would just, me and Nine Eye, we would go and rape the caps, you know, everybody, everybody would, um, Keith would join in, you know, Kyle would cap something at the beginning, Joe would cap something at the beginning, you know. And we, I would be, me and Nine Eye would just go rape and, like, cap and we would win practically every game. And then, you know, as time went on, and I started to veer away from my party, you know, playing more on my own, all that stuff. Um, I just hated how no one on your team would go for the objective. It was ridiculous. Um, you're sitting in team-based game, and you're trying to, you're trying to kill streak core, and you're using UAV, uh, counter UAV, black, and uh, predator. That's not gonna help anyone. And you think you're being a big help? No, the UAVs help, but come on, really? It's like, I understand if you're like, um, Mr. Tabe, who's freaking amazing at getting the kill streaks, and he slaps on those high things, doesn't let them cap a single thing, you know what I mean? That's cool, but if you're just gonna be a douche, you know, why even bother? So, eventually I just got pissed, and, uh, I joined the Kill Whore Club, and you know, I was pretty good at that. I would get the high. I, I would get like my Pavlo, all that shit, you know, all, that, all that jazz. Um, do I would do good at that. But eventually, I, I played this game, and um, you know, after.
after kill streak calling and dominations. I, I try to veer away from like the only the only game types I like to play are uh, TDM, domination, sometimes search and destroy. But you know what I mean? Like I would just try to veer away from it because I I was sick of being a team player. So I just went for the kills, you know, like I'm telling you I did. And eventually it just got really boring. And in this game, which was about a month, two months ago maybe. Um, I I joined back on the team playing club, and it's <laughs> it's a lot more fun than playing on the uh, playing on the I'm a kill streak core this whole game team. You're more into it. Um, you're more active. You know, you know, like uh, I'm saying, I just repeated myself. You're more active, but that's really the thing. Um, you're not in the game when you're just sitting there. Walking around the outskirts trying to pick off people. That's no fun to me anymore. Um in domination, I'm I'm in the cabs, you know. I'm, I'm going deep in, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, oh god, I just thought of something. Focus. No penis. No penis talk, no vagina talk, no sex talk. It takes the fun out of commentating. I'm just joking, but you know, I'd get I'd get I would get in the game. Um Especially, I love the close teams. Like, you hate them, but you love them. Because you're so close throughout the whole game. And, you know, you just need that one cap. And you're just running around. You don't care how many deaths you get. You're killing people on the way. Committing mass murder. Just destroying everybody. Capping the objective and getting that win. And at the end of the game saying, Bitch! Bitch! And, oh god. You, I love that feeling. Just, and then, I love when people win like a deathmatch game they're just camping the entire game they're like yo we raped you we raped you and then you start trash talking and they can't think of anything to save their ass <laughs> you're just making them look like an idiot though th those are the games i enjoy so aside from the team playing part you know how that's all fun and stuff um i i i'm on that train now you know like every game of domination i have six caps or more because I just run around just crazy and I find that I get a lot of more kills um, doing that because you know if you're running around in the action um, you're naturally it's of course you're gonna get more kills because there are more people around you to kill and like not to be cocky or anything but I consider myself you know, I'm 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 a bit better than the average gamer. Like, I'm not God. I'm not freaking Optic Nade Shot or Raw Instinct or Tabe or Hutch or Nanners or freaking Grizz. I'm none of those guys. Um, and that that that's that's a moment that's gonna oh god. That's that that I don't know if you guys saw that. Enemy the grenade that, jumped on. that moment's gonna go down. Give me laughs for a long time. Hopefully it gives you laughs. Can we get a like for it? Maybe? I don't know. But, um, you know, I'm not, I'm none of those guys. Um, I'm, I, I try to play the game, you know, um, but as I, I, as I've progressed as a, uh, Call of Duty and overall gamer, um, my gu I, I can win a lot of gunfights, um, not to say that I'm better, I have more skill than everybody, it's just I have more experience than most, than I, not than most, than some, because... A lot of kids are just kind of getting into the Call of Duty, into the Halo, into the bad battlefield, you know. And I mean, if you're an experienced player, naturally you're gonna know what to do. You're gonna know how to do gunfights. And I took out the this class, and then of course the freaking chopper gets killed. But you know, of course you're gonna you're gonna have more experience, and that's literally all that you need. You know, and um, as I as I whipped out this uh, HK. 21, I believe. I just... God, this gun rapes. <laughs> it's so good. It's not even funny. Um, but... I, I keep veering off topic. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you know, naturally you're gonna be better than most if you're used to it. Um, and then, stepping aside from that, um, I was talking... Uh, I wanna open up a new topic. Um, guys... If you don't like this mic quality, I understand there's a lot of those annoying <laughs> noises like that, and I can't help it. I'm using a crappy uh, Logitech mic that my mom bought like five years ago. Um, 
I am upgrading to something new and better. Um, but I will. I I can't tell you what that is. Um, when it arrives, um, I will be doing an unboxing video, and it will be pretty smexy. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this uh, the unboxing video. I hope you guys will too. It's it's gonna be a pretty sick thing, and then I'll put up a review. But my my quality will be improving drastically, to say the least. Um. Also, moving aside, uh, I've talked about being a team player. That's important, guys. You gotta do it. Um, people will like you. People will friend you because they like playing with good team players. Um, and this gameplay, like, I, this is to show you that most people don't want to be team players because they're afraid. No, I'm gonna go negative. I'm gonna do this. Y you're really not. I mean, every game I do this, I go at least positive, like, three. You know, I mean, that's not saying much, but if you're running around capping things like freaking crazy, you know, you're not going to get the plus 20s, you know, but occasionally you will, you know, don't don't get your hopes up, down, like, don't be down by that. You will occasionally get that really good game, that really satisfying game, because, and then it's the best of all, because you've been a team player, and on top of that, you, um, you, you've raped, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyway guys, uh, moving aside, stepping aside, I mean, um, this commentary, I ha I will be uploading, soon I'll be uploading a Modern Warfare, uh, commentary, and I'll probably continue this talk or something like that, um, it's another one of those bullshit Modern Warfare commentaries that I did last time with Joe Fiala, but, stepping aside from that, um, my birthday is coming up on... Sunday, and I am stoked for that, I'm having friends over, all that jazz, um, it's, it's gonna be a great time, and like I said guys, be expecting that review, and also another thing, last thing, um, I said I would bring you a crisis, but the problem was, my room is a construction zone right now, my dad put a huge hole in the ceiling because he had to fix my skylight, and he did all this, and it's I'm doing my commentary in my room right now. It is very dusty, and there's drywall everywhere, so expect that gameplay um, in a week, two weeks, I don't know, guys, but I promise you it is coming. Um, it's your boy, the Betabaz, again. Um, peace out, guys.